Hello everybody, this is Chris from the Star Wars Underworld and I'm reporting from Alcon 2013 in Dallas, Texas and I'm here with the voice of Tarkin and many other characters from the Clone Wars TV series, Mr. Steven Stanton. How are you doing, Steven? Hi Chris, I'm doing great. It's good to see you. Great to see you and uh, how are you enjoying the con so far? Wow, well today's the last day so I'm a little worn out but uh, I'm doing great. It's been a lot of fun. It's our first time here at Alcon and it's uh, it really is different from, it really is an Alcon. It's not just Star Wars or Star Trek. It's a really a, a little bit of everything which is kind of great. There's like Daleks and there's Tardises and there's, I saw Sergeant Schultz from Hogan Here Hogan's Heroes last night. It was one of the best costumes I've seen at the whole con so yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun mismatch of everything. So, of course, uh, we started out this con with uh, the premiere of Pink Five by Trey Stokes, and we talked to him uh, the other day. Uh, how do you think that went? I think it went really well for a sneak preview, you know, where you're seeing people, an audience is seeing something for the very first time. Uh, I, I think it went great. There was a, a, Everybody was laughing, I think, at the right points, which is great, because Pink Five is a comedy. <laughs> and uh, no, and it was the first time I had seen the, uh, a lot of the footage from the last part of it. I had seen bits and pieces, uh, so even I was surprised, and I was laughing. There was a lot of stuff in there that I absolutely didn't expect. I thought Trey did a marvelous job with that. Yeah, no, it was great, and of course we can't wait for everyone to see that. Uh, so, moving on to the Clone Wars, of course, that just wrapped up, and you played a pretty, pretty pivotal role in, in the last arc there. Oh, yes, uh, Admiral Tarkin was a bit of a, he was a hard case in that one, wasn't he? Poor Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, that was a, a pretty, uh, uh, pretty uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I'm, I'm kind of speechless about it. That, that season finale was really something that I don't think uh, we've seen on the Clone Wars up to this date. It all of a sudden started to really look like not the prequel anymore. It started to look like the original trilogy. It started to sound like it. I mean, there was so much in there that reminded you of Star Wars, you know, uh, the least of which was Tarkin. It was just, you know, the music, the, the surroundings, everything about it, all the, you know, the villainy that was going on, you know. Uh, yeah, I think it's... Uh, it was, uh, if I don't want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't seen it, but uh, if you haven't seen it, make, you know, do yourself a favor and watch those last three episodes. I think you're going to be really blown away by that. Oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, I think really that arc has gotten so much positive reaction. Like some of the stuff that you've done, it's been pretty experimental, like the Gascon stuff. It was very experimental. But, uh, you know, that like I've said before, one of the great things about having a television series is that you have more than just two hours to explore a particular story. You have an entire season. So you get to tell the kinds of stories that we did in the droid arc with Colonel Gascon that you wouldn't necessarily see in a movie or, or you, it wouldn't be appropriate to see in a movie because it's, you know, maybe too far off, you know, whatever the main story is. But here, because the Clone Wars is telling the story of, you know, everything that happened during that time period, I thought it was great that, uh, that uh, George Lucas, uh, Dave Filoni, Brent Friedman, who wrote those things, took that big risk and, and told that story. And I'm, I'm so happy to have been a part of it. Oh, yeah. The people who liked it really liked it because yes. it, it was so out there. And the people who didn't like it really didn't like it. But that's okay because you can't, there's no way that you're going to make something that everybody is going to like. A lot of people watch Clone Wars because they like to see, you know, the lightsaber battles. And some people like it for, you know, everybody has, someone may be a fan of Ahsoka Tano. There's, everyone has the different things they like about it. But once again, because Clone Wars covers so much ground, there's usually, there's always an episode that has something in it that, that you like. You'll find it, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. And as you said, the last arc, a lot of people liked that, and probably that's because it was so similar to the original trilogy, and that's why we all, we all like Star Wars in the first place. Something specifically, the d dynamics between Tarkin and Padme really reminded me of the dynamics between Tarkin and Leia. Right. There was a lot of that sort of, you could see, I th when, when we started doing that arc, Dave Filoni was telling me, he says, in this, you know, it's been two seasons since we've really seen Tarkin, you know, since the Citadel trilogy, and in that one, you know, we were, uh, uh, the character, at least from the standpoint that I was approaching it was, he can't be the villain that he is in episode four, A New Hope, because why would anybody be working with him? He'd be too villainous, too nasty, it wouldn't make any sense. Why would anyone say, I don't want to work with this guy, he's terrible, boot him out of the army or whatever. So in that one, he was, you know, working with, but just barely tolerant of the Jedi and what they were doing, disagreeing constantly. And this one, Dave Filoni says, we're going to see him do his military power grab. Some time has gone by. He's been promoted to admiral. He's really starting to get a full of himself. And now we're going to finally see the beginnings of that Tarkin that we see in A New Hope. So I really wanted to change 
the voice as well, the dialogue was already different. It was becoming that more sort of like, you know, that staccato, the I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And you could see the, in the, that one scene in the, in the beginning of the last episode where he's the uh, hologram in front of the Jedi Council. It's like, oh yes, Jedi tradition, you know, and that whole thing in the courtroom where he does the single hand clap, you know, it's very kind of like, oh, you just want to hit the guy, you know. And actually there was, um, there, you know, that scene in the courtroom, it, it's too bad. I think the season, uh, the, the season finale could have been a, an hour long special. I think, it, it, you know, uh, the story was that complex. There was a, a scene, that courtroom scene that we did was actually quite a bit longer. We actually had to shorten it for time, but there was a whole sequence in there where, um, you know, in the beginning where the, in the Jedi Council chambers where Tarkin comes on and says, you really should boot um, Ahsoka out so that we can have an unbiased trial. In the courtroom, there was a whole section where he says, well, if she's so innocent, why did the Jedi boot her out? And everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's turned the tables on us, that rat, you know? So so we're really getting to see Tarkin turn into the guy that uh, we all know and love and hate. And it'll be really interesting to see uh, where it goes from here. Now, of course, of course, the future of the Clone Wars, we don't know exactly where it's going to land, but all we know is you guys are still producing episodes. Right. There's been, there's, you know, we've been working on season six for quite some time. Uh, there, there, there definitely are a lot of stories still uh, remaining to be told in Clone Wars, but the logistics of the where and when and all that stuff, that hasn't been just put into place yet. And I'm with you guys. I'm going to find out when everybody else finds out. Well, uh, hopefully it ends up uh, somewhere where everybody has an opportunity to see these episodes. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you, Chris, and I hope you have fun here at the rest of the con. I know I'm going to actually hopefully get a chance to walk around and see something. I don't usually get to do that, but uh, I'm going to see a little bit of the con today. So, Thank you. All right. See you later, Chris. May the Force be with you.